Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. This week we're going to make a 3D herb spiral. Creating a 3D herb spiral is a fantastic way of using your space because it doesn't create a lot of space, it doesn't need a lot of space and because it's vertical it also allows all of the plants to help benefit each other. So the at the top where you kind of create good drainage that's great for things like rosemary and sage and then things other plants at the bottom that need a bit more moisture those top plants create shade give moisture to those moisture loving plants like chive and wild garlic so it's a great way of using your space so we've got a little space here that we want to use and also we want it close to our kitchen so that we can come in and out of our kitchen and grab the herbs we want so the first thing we're going to do is just plan it out where it's going to go on the grass and uh, then we get on with it so what we've done is we've measured two meters so our circle our, our herb spiral is going to be two meters wide and then we've put cardboard down. Now this is to stop the weeds coming through. You could dig the grass up, but I think it's easier just to put cardboard down and then put mulch on the top. So we've measured two meters and then I've put these old tiles that we had spare just around the edge. Now the idea of that is so that when it comes to strimming and things like that, I've got a nice edge to strim against. And then we're gonna put the stones in just slightly in from the roof tiles. So to do the circle, used the good old age of rope and a pen and that's it so all of this stone came out of our kitchen so we're going to use the stone that we've got spare here to make our herb spiral but of course there's lots of materials that you can use to make it so you can use old bricks old slate or use wine bottles you can fill them with soil and stand them up so any material you've got best to try and reuse and recycle um we're using the stone i think it's going to look really good with the stone so we're going to be watering the cardboard uh, so that it gives it a good start so the cardboard starts to rot down. So as you can see I've filled my herb spiral with old compost. Now it hasn't quite rotten down yet and we haven't had time to get it fully composted but I'm not too worried because over time it will compost anyway in situ. What we're going to do is buy some bags of soil and put a top layer on top. So we'll have a top, you know, a good chunk of a couple of inches of topsoil on top of this so that this will rot down and keep giving it nutrients for the plants. But as you can see we've created a spiral here and the idea is this middle bit should be at least 50 centimetres from the ground so that there's enough drainage and it casts enough shadows for the other plants on the other side. So one of the advantages of using stone is that it acts as a heat sink. So they heat, they keep the heat through the day and then into the night. So actually it extends your growing season of your herbs as well. So we wanted a really big herb spiral because we wanted to grow lots of herbs. But we've realised why you can't go too big because you need to be able to reach into the middle to get your herbs. So you can't make it too big. We've done two metres here and I suspect that's probably the biggest that you want to make it. So I've now put some topsoil on the soil I put down and I've placed out the herbs that I want according to the amount of drainage and what sun they need. So for us, north is in that direction, south is in that direction. So we've placed them either in full sun or as these bigger plants grow, it will create shade for the ones that want a bit more shaded area. So for example, we have the rosemary at the top of the spiral because that really wants a lot of sun, but it wants great drainage. Also down here, we've got thyme that it probably doesn't need as much drainage, but still wants the sun. And then on the north side, we've got tarragon and that wants probably not so much drainage, but also wants a bit, a bit more shade. So that's why it's on the north side of the spiral. So the herbs that we've got here in our spiral, so starting from the top, we have rosemary. Then we come around to coriander. Then we have lemon verbena. Then we have sage. Then we have tarragon. Then we have parsley. We have basil here. Then we have thyme down here. We've got lemongrass as a bit of an experiment and then chives. And here's the finished product of our 3D herb spiral. We've got a few lettuces growing in between the herbs because there's a bit of a space and we wanted to use it because we had a few spare lettuce seedlings. But I'm really happy with that. I hope you enjoy my video. Please remember to click the logo to subscribe and the bell to be notified of our next week's videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Cheers guys, bye.